Hello everybody, this is Baron the Bear, and this is going to be another video for the Walking Dead Survivors. This video is going to be for my viewers and the developers of the game. Hopefully one of the developers will watch this video and will communicate with the other developers, and hopefully they'll all watch this video. That's the goal. If you're one of my viewers, please take this moment. Think of this as your chance. If you had an an ability to be able to talk to a developer right now what would you want to tell them okay any suggestions or things you don't like that's been going on so far please put that in the comments in this video okay in a few days I'm gonna I'm gonna link this and get this out to whoever I need to get to get in contact with them and hopefully they'll watch this video that's the goal of this video Okay, uh, just make sure to like and subscribe for my future content because I am trying to make my videos to help the game in any way that I can. Uh, I love this game. My passion is to make videos to help other players in this game. So please support me in any way that you can. I highly appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go over some of the issues and suggestions I see and hopefully the developers might start maybe they'll listen to some of this okay the warning signs all right i'm seeing a lot of warning signs uh the first one removing or reducing rewards okay it's never a good idea uh to take away from a game okay you always when you're developing and 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 and, and improving a game you always want to try to give more to the game uh, now there are situations maybe certain gotcha games where they had to do rebalancing and there are situations that that you know even in this game they did with the abandoned event uh they they changed the the origami levels uh to correspond to the light origami for level 25 that was okay you know some some things are are acceptable uh but too much of removing of too much rewards uh, is always a negative thing and it's going to really affect uh, you know the moral of your gamers so second thing changing game mechanics and not adding that to the game notes okay now this is probably in my opinion is probably more accidental uh, but it's not good to do that uh, whenever you do any type of change to any uh, in any update you must put that into the game notes for the updates so all players know exactly what has been changed it, you have to be a hundred percent translucent to your players and your games okay uh, this is a sign of too much in updates because the developers are forgetting changes to put in updates okay sometimes less is more okay if we're in, if you're in that situation where you're forgetting to add things into the updates, that's a sign you need to slow down. Don't do too much in one update. Okay, that's my advice. Another issue. This is a really really important. Uh, this is a serious issue I'm seeing in this game. Some not supporting and protecting your YouTubers. The YouTubers for your game are your free advertising. Okay, this is something I've had in other games. Uh, I I couldn't stop them from putting my videos into the game. They would literally every week would send links to videos of my game guides into the game mail. Uh, I had videos that had over twenty five thousand views. It's very important to support your YouTubers. The more successful they are, the more free advertising you have in your game. The YouTubers for your game are your free advertising. You don't have to pay them nothing. Protect them. The YouTubers help your players improve in the game, which then encourages more players to stay playing in the game and purchase items in your game. It's a money maker. YouTubers equals money makers for your game. Now I'm going to pause and, and show the suggestions. 
I submitted this to all the mods in the Discord, official Discord channel, server, and to the VIP support. And I really hope that developers actually received this suggestions. These are very important, and I highly recommend that they are implemented in this game as soon as possible. Suggestion 1. Create a special avatar skin for all official The Walking Dead Survivors content creators, such as moderators have on the servers. The moderators already have this. It only makes sense that your YouTubers have this as well. The ones that, you, that are in your official content creators program. This will show players that the game deems them valuable. This will also help customer support be aware of false flagging from mutes that specific players will report to focus on content creators who would get future sponsorships or reveal strategies they do not wish to be disclosed to other players. Okay. The more successful you, you, your YouTubers are going to get, the more susceptible they are going to be to attacks. You have to protect your successful YouTubers. Suggestion 2. In the past games, they weekly posted game mail with links to con content creators' videos they deemed valuable for players. If they had player guides that they thought was good for players, they would post them every week in a link, and all players in the game would have access to go and look and watch that video. I would recommend... The Walking Dead survivors to do the same. This would encourage content creators to make videos that the Walking Dead survivors would like to see. Post guidelines on certain etiquette required for content to be mailed in game as well. Set rules. You can you have to have this. You can't have this in in the videos. And those videos are the ones that the game will then mail to all the gamers. Then content creators will not even violate any state chat rules. This way, your content creators wouldn't get muted for posting a link in, in their own server. Uh, which is crazy in my opinion. Then the content creators would not even violate the state rules. Their content would be given through game. They would not have to post anything in state chat ever again. Would never have anything, any issues ever again. No players would probably even target them. This would also incur be encouragement for more to make even better videos, videos and increase more YouTubers to start making content for the game. Okay? This, is, this is a huge game changer. This is going to get the big, the big time YouTubers, the one that, that start to see that they're actually going to be encouraged to make videos for this game. You want that. Free advertising. Also, it would show all players on servers these content creators are playing on that the game deems them valuable as well. This could be an alternate solution instead of having an avatar skin. But I'm sorry, I came up with these great ideas. I want an avatar skin, okay? I want a really cool one. I want something that maybe it says content creator or something that symbolizes it. I want something really nice as my skin. Suggestion three. Make false accusations that are intentional, that are submitted to customer support, an actual mutable offense. List this as rule number 11 on the official Discord rules. Okay, You have to start showing the players there's consequences by being malicious and targeting others for false mute. Okay, There has to be a consequence. All right. Support does not need childish players to bother them. Support should be focused on doing their job, not babysitting toxic players. Okay. The support has enough to do in in the game. Okay. They don't need, you know, players, you know, falsifying, trying to get people muted because they get mad at someone, you know. That that's that's not what the support needs right now. Okay. This role needs to be implemented right away okay I got that out of the way you know the whole youtubers and stuff you know that that they, those are your money makers you got to protect them you got to support them 
Uh, that's free advertising for your game. I, I, I don't understand why this is so hard for a company to understand. You know, it's very important to have YouTubers. Game suggestions. You make your money in war games with PvP. You sell more with increasing levels and spenders spending for upgrades to be stronger in PvP. Increase your levels. This is where you're going to make your money. Right now, the current level, right now for the highest level base is level 25. Okay, You can get it to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You get the idea on that. You see packs. You sell packs geared to PvP in war games, okay? Because it's a war game. The focus on PvP. So you're going to sell for PvP. You can make money. You can make tons of money by selling gear packs. This is a tried and proved, proven mechanic in, in most of the most successful of these type of games. Uh, there's certain games that have made billions and billions of dollars. And gear packs is a huge seller. Certain types of construction of, of gear packs. Construction gear packs. I mean gear. Research gear. Walker killing gear. Troop training gear. PvP gear will be the biggest seller. Because that's what the game is. It's a war game. PvP. Change the current walkers on the map to certain walker types. The current walkers that are on the map, they can be changed. Make them in a two-week rotation, same as every kill event cycle. As of the game is right now, it's in a two-week cycle. It goes to, you know, the normal events to the week-long strongest survivor event. Then it switches back to another two-week cycle. These, these walkers can be put into the game in that two-week cycle. There are like ten types of walkers in the Walking Dead universe. There is so much material to use to this, for this game, for these type of walkers. These are just examples I'm going to give. Okay, Roamers. Materials drop for crafting and construction gear. Cycle, first month, first period, two-week period. The first two weeks. Goals. Goals. Materials drop for crafting research gear. Lurkers. Materials drop for walking killing gear. Blockers. Materials drop for crafting troop training gear. And that is the end of the two month cycle. Four walkers. One for each two week period. Two months. This could be increased. To even a three month or a four month, whatever you guys want. These are just ideas. I'm just throwing these out. Uh, two month rotation. First month, roamers, and then the second week, two weeks, goals. Second month, the first two weeks, lurkers. The second two, two weeks, blockers. There's descriptions for everything. This is all on the internet. It's very accessible. This could be added to have more types for even three months for types of them. This enables free players, listen to this, this enables free players to kill these walkers to collect materials to craft the gear. This will let all players get this type of gear. Gear packs could be sold to spenders so they could just buy them by buying the materials in the packs to craft full sets right away. This has already been done in other games. Sell the certain gear pack when the specific walker is in rotation. Say, for instance, the Romers event. Okay, the two-week cycle for the Roman Romer walkers. That $100 pack will be in the store at this time. This will enable the spenders to spend $100 to get all the materials they need to craft the construction gear set. And they can instantly craft it and use that construction gear for one of their survivors. Now think about this. If there's multiple construction survivors, um, at $100 each. You had three construction survivors, a, a big spender wants, wants to have, that's $300. There's a lot of value in this.
I sell the packs for a hundred dollars. This is this isn't the first time it is uh, this 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 has been tested in multiple games in the past. All players will love this update, and that's the truth. The free players will love to have more walkers to types to kill to get different types of gear. They can actually you know keep working on it. You know after after six months they might be able to get a full set for something. You know, free players love this stuff, and this is proven. Spenders, they, they'll they'll be in heaven. I mean, they'll get all kinds of gear sets they want for for all their survivors. Another addition. Add three sockets to each gear item. Call these items socket in the sockets badges. These badges have a small chance to drop from military convoys. So not only can you get gems from a military convoy, but you can get maybe a low grade badge. Okay? The badges can be upgraded by color type to stronger boost. Okay? What that means is you can upgrade maybe uh, three green to one blue, and that blue will have a stronger boost instead of the three prior. Three badges, three times badges of same type increases to a higher tier badge of same type. Three veggie badges, as an example, three veggie badges of same color upgrade to higher tier veggie badges. Okay, three green badges equals one blue badge. Three blue badges equals one purple badge. Three purple badges equals one orange light badge, which is the top tier. Once they get to top tier, they can put those three different gems they want into any gear they want. Here is where you can make money just by... Um, sell packs with items you can remove badges and still use again. Four ninety nine packs. You buy these items that you can actually remove the badge out of your gear without destroying the item. And then you can then take that, say it's instance it's a green item, green badge. You can take that out and get two other green badges and uh Combine that into blue and then put that blue one back. This enables people in the game to just randomly put low-level badges in their gear in the beginning. Also give the option to remove remove for free, but will destroy the badge. This way it enables free players if they you know if they they put some green ones in their gear. And later on, they, they craft and they upgrade some, they, and they have now they have blue or purple. They can just uh, destroy what they have already in their gear and put those in without having to spend money. It's an option there for free players, which is very important. Focus of board games is PvP. Now, this is what I recommend for how, how the PvP in the game should be. Once Sanctuary is unlocked, the two-day kill event goes to servers, okay? Two servers close to same age and power get matched up. Players receive two server teleports at start of the kill event. This lets them transport to an enemy server to attack and then... They can use the last server teleport to return to their home server if they want to return to defend if needed. At the end of the kill event, all players return to their home servers. This encourages spenders to fight in enemy servers and lets free players stay and defend their clan hives in their own server. Sell. So, PvP packs during the kill event. Two random teleports, one elite teleport plus two hour shields, 499 pack. Five random teleports, three elite teleports plus two hours and eight hour shields, $10 pack. 
could be different prices. You could even make a $20 pack, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Like I said, these are just very great tips, okay? These are suggestions. These, th th this stuff has been in games uh, and ha has been true and try tried and tested. Uh, this all works 100%. Anyway, that's my ideas. Uh, I'm going to leave... Uh, I'm going to leave my contact information on Discord uh, in the pinned comment below. If you're a developer and you're watching this and you like these ideas, um, please message me. Send me a direct message and we'll schedule a time if you want to, you know, have a voice chat conversation. Even 30 minutes, whatever you, you know, whatever I can do to help you guys, you know. Uh, I'm willing, you have any questions on anything, any any other ideas, you know, believe me, I have 30-something years of war game strategy and experience in, in games. I've been playing these video games since the Atari came out, okay? There's not too many people that have my experience that's actually a YouTube content creator. Well, anyway, this is Bear and the Bear. And I hope that, you know, that anyone who's still watching, you know, remember, this is your guys' chance, man. Okay? You post some comments down here. Okay? Maybe the, maybe the developers will actually read your comments and, and you'll help as well. You know, this is the whole focus of this video. Well, anyway, guys, you know, thanks for everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is Baron the Bear. Talk to you guys later.